hello and welcome. Uh, me, my friend Jesper and Commander Moon, we made a movie together which is called Social Media Massacre, which is about uh, not spending money at all. We absolutely tried to put as less money and as less effort as possible. The art was to not care and uh, to make this comedy uh, with the cheapest puppet you can make. So, due to this movie has got no wider recognition or the distribution deal or anything, uh, we decided to let, let's just put it out online for free, but with some ads. So, I hope that is a very good thing for you who wants to see this movie and uh, don't bother with these ads. We're gonna put them in good places. So, enjoy! Hello, and welcome to the movie. It's gonna be a great movie, the best movie that's ever been made. It's gonna be very politically incorrect, so if you don't like it, go fuck yourself! This movie's gonna be garbage, and if you don't like it, there's better movies to watch. You have choice. Fuck off. I have a great idea for you. It's a movie idea, and it starts like this. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this day's political debate. Uh, today we are going to talk immigration. So, Mr. Richie McRichface of the Conservative Party, uh, how would you describe the current immigration situation? <laughs> really? You have got to be shitting me. So, Harry Treehugger of the... Uh, Environmental party, uh, how would you describe the situation? Wow, now like that's just a load of crap. And finally, Miss Josephina Starling of the left wing, uh, how would you describe the situation? It's a total shit first here in Sweden. The situation is out of control. Oh no! He's shitting on her face! Oh my god! <laughs> so, to sum the situation up, shit happened, it has hit the fan. Uh, it's a war song here. The battle of the shits has begun. So, are we on? Yes, we are. Oh. Hello, and welcome to the show. This show is brought to you by Antiseptic. It's the spam filter for you who doesn't like to have shit on your computer. So, go to your nearest computer and type in Killstarter in the promo code and you will get 10% off. Do you get a lot of spam mail? Oh yes. And uh, the internet apparently thinks that I have a small penis. And uh, are lonely as hell. And need a date. Absolutely true. Your dick is so small that for compensating it will bankrupt the whole country. And you're so lonely that you have a negative amount of friends on Facebook! <laughs> anyway... Today's hate mail comes from Chris. Well, how nice of him. There's a note here. Um, it says... You guys give me cancer. I hope you die. Well, he must really hate us for spending money on that. Move on. Next letter is to me. And it's from the IRS and they want me to pay them. So I think you're gonna forward this can of gas to them. Well... Now let's see what your friends are up to. 
I fully agree on that. You don't have any friends. You have minus negative friends on your Facebook account. Share. I don't know which way to go It's a hard decision to make Since I don't know which direction the wind may blow And let us happiness along the road Welcome back. We are speaking now with director Jonas Vulture. He has recently made a movie. We are going to talk about that movie, aren't we, Jonas? Well, thank you. It's a pleasure being here. I'm going to keep this very short. I saw the movie, so did my partner. It has potential. Truly an epic piece, masterfully done. Or at least it would be, had you been made by anyone but you. We have to ask you, is it supposed to be this bad? Is it a joke? A statement? Did you actually plan to raise the suicidal rates in this country? Because this was bad. Really bad. Brutal even. You made me want to kill my only child. Only so she could never ever be exposed to this shit. That's correct. Uh. Is it true that your wife left you? I could say I'm surprised, but I'm not. Holy crap, you suck, Jonas. Fuck you. Go home. Go kill yourself. Is this movie cancer on a disc? I mean, look at my partner. Look what you have done to him. And this is just minor. He watched five minutes of your movie. No, nope. not even his suicide was satisfactory. A true failure, even in death. He tried to commit suicide, but failed. A director out for revenge. Facing all his critics over the years. <laughs> this is the director's cut, bitch! <laughs> Thrilling and bloody. <laughs> <laughs> Critics are afraid to say it's shit, and it is. <laughs> Director's cut coming soon. <laughs> Direct to DVD, bastards. Take a drink of my vodka. It will get you to sleep fast. <laughs>
Wow, that was great. Welcome back to the show. We have now one of the greatest influencer members with us. KXC6000. How are you doing here? <laughs> right. So, what made you start doing these videos? Birds, the new movement around birds. 
we find this specimen an owl, who is a native species. Go back home, you bastards! We don't want your hair! Take your migrating fuckers and get away from here! Fuck off! And especially unpopular are the African swallow that migrates to Europe. Go away, migrating birds! You're not welcome here! I'm coming here and eat our fucking food! Let them go fuck themselves! Fuck off! The African swallow might be a permanent resident here now because of gloom and warming. But then again, it's much, much warmer in Africa. So, we just think we have to adapt to this. We ask this average human what they think about the situation with the African swallow. That's a conspiracy. The government is lying to us. Try stop us! We have done this for years now! So, is this remarkable species here to stay permanently, or is this just a yearly thing again? Only the one who lives will see. David Attenborough, signing out. What did you say? I am the boss destroying paint and the backlash! You cannot take that from a new paint! No, you are the champion of the Prior Mania! But I am! No, and I can absolutely beat you because I have the drawing skills that are faster and stronger than you! Oh, and the paint drawing is on and it's a very exciting when the newcomer is coming here and tag us! Oh, you see, he put all the paints in like a pro and he has never been done before in any times! Oh, you can going see how fast the most drawing at the old school paint, but the new school paint is the only one has used... Oh, but he has his natural hairbrush and the other one used plastic hairbrush! Oh, it has been controversial discussions about this, but... Certainly it may not mean a sense of it, but we see the paint are drying! And it's changed now, like, oh, the one of them is so stopped shining now! And, oh my god, what's happening over there? Oh, I think you blew on the paint! That is an illegal move! Oh, he's not gonna be happy about that! No, we don't know! Oh, look, they are fighting on it, and now he is coming, coming on, punching him. Oh, the other old paint is actually bashing it, held on to you, but oh, he actually flipped him over. Oh, look, they are actually in great contact, they are flipped him over again, and he's stamping on him. That is an exciting thing, he's going to recover, they always oh, throw him in trouble. Now he's come, oh, he's ground on him to some kind of dry pressure. Oh, look, he is lying there, and he's trying to actually, where are we going? He's climbing the wall. Oh, he's looking there. Oh, he's going to make it. He looks very grim for the new paint there. Oh, here it is. The old, the old paint. Uh, so, oh, he's dropping down. Oh, look at it. Oh, it was a smash. How can he survive that? Oh, and it's amazing times here. Oh, oh on, that was coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Watch this. We're going to yell at you. No, we totally agree on that. That is sounding fantastic, like a good insult. Oh, it's turned out! He has gone! Oh, he shot him! Oh, this is turned out to Indeed, and now he died! It seems like we have a new champion. He won! Because the other one is dead! What does he have to say? Well, it seems there's a bit of a problem with talking here because no one is actually understanding what the hell he's saying. Fuck you, Hulk Hogan! And now he's making noise. But look, he is really goddamn happy to have a new championship here in paint drying. Fantastic, isn't it? Now, let's hear a story about choosing a path in life. That can be the stupidest thing that has ever been done. Indeed. Miss, please pull down the window. Good evening, miss. Hello, officer. Are you drunk, miss? No, 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 I'm perfectly fine. Uh, license and registration, please. No, no, there's no need for that, sir. Can you please step out of the vehicle? No, 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 no. Step out of the vehicle, miss. How dare you assume I am the, you fascist policeman! No, you get out here, miss.
Tell us, Morgan, who are you? Hi, my name is Morgan, and I have a penis phobia. I don't really know what started it, but it really makes me a victim of discrimination because I am a normal person, after all. Let's talk more about that. I want to know everything. Explain, please. Well, I do have a irrational fear of penises, which I have the urge to attack when I see them. That's all very interesting. Yes, it is. A very, very sad story of my life that I need to talk about, because this is a growing problem that many, many, many more people have in this world. Anyone want pizza? Ah, penis! What the hell did you do? Are you insane? Respect my boundaries! I have penis phobia! Oh, it's just disgusting how they can cut in penises like that! Well, I don't really see a problem here. So, uh, why do you think you are suitable for this art project? Well, I was looking for this school because I want to be an art student. So that's also, I'm from Germany and I'm so gay and you went to the West. Uh, am I correct to assume that you are from uh, China, sir? I was adopted from China because I was born and uh, raised in Britain by my parents. It was amazing, and I wanted to be in this art project because you wanted diversity, and I think I found a slot for Asian people. So, why do you want to be in this art project? I love the art, even back when I was in Uganda. It was a good time there. So, I think I will fill the slot for the black minority people here. Because I fled. Wouldn't you say that your uh, handicap would make it difficult for you to be in this art project? I would say it that I am handy capable, but on the other hand, I'm the only one in the real share at this art school, so well, I will have to fill that slot. Apparently. Uh, what, what happened? How did you get here? No! Let me go! Yeah. You can do this to me! Now, you can't move, you see. You are being held captivity like many women have. So, like us that have no voices to be heard, I will now punish you. No! What are you doing? Let me go! We are going to have a fun time, you and I. No! I'm going to make you feel like a woman, pushed down by the patriarchy, no. held in place. No, anything but that. No, what are you doing? Let me go now. No, no. Now you know how it feels to not be heard properly. You also need to shave their saddles up a little bit. <laughs> It's gonna be nasty, so I'm gonna put you to sleep. Hello, all my good art friends. Now, tomorrow, in this opening, we will do this performance art here. So they are very important first. You will drink this liquid I have given you. This will be a very good art for new things. Sleep, my friend, sleep. Now it's time.
time to be creative. This painting is so abstract. The art of the photograph really turns on me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the main art will be unveiled. is art. And that, my friends, is where your tax money is going for national art. Oh, that's good art indeed. I do see the, the metaphor of the police shit going through all the society. And welcome to the official truth channel! The channel that will tell about the truth and nothing but the truth! So help us, God! Our next mystery for the time being is the following. We have acquired some compelling evidence of a marine uprising on the horizon. Let's see how that goes. So, over to you, Bunker Bob. And so are dolphins. I'm being really cute and cuddly, but that's all a disguise. Dolphins are actually monsters and killers. Rise. I'm going to show you how to defend against the marine animal uprising with these simple tips. Dolphin knows how to walk, then that means they also know how to fall. Grab a nearby PR-24S and then whack it a few times. Just whack it. And that should kill it. You simply run in a straight line because dolphins can't walk. Uh, many of you have sent us footage of UFOs. Evidence of extraterrestrial life and also unicorns. We're going to take a look at this book tonight.
for a job! Hooray! Hmm. I better go in before it's too late. I surely hope I'm not late because then I would not get the job. That would be bad. Box is ready to see you. Oh boy. Uh, I wanna... I want to be a stuntman. Oh, hello there. Um, welcome. And you want to be a stuntman? You don't have a resume? Or anything? How do you expect me to hire you without a resume? Uh, I'll go make one, then. Uh, okay. Bye. Okay, is it going? Okay, um, so today I'm joined by one of my friends who is going to, uh, drive this car as I'm on top of it. He's going to go really fast, like, NASCAR fast, and, um, I'm basically going to ride onto it. Now this stunt will basically um, show that I can, um, that I can, uh, wait, what? <laughs> okay, uh, for this next stunt, I'm going to be jumping off a 20-story building with a parachute to basically show I can survive parachute jumps. So, uh, I have this parachute right here. Oh no. Hold on, I'll, I'll be right back. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> ah! Hello, I'm trying my other stunt where my assistant will set me a flame. I will go put on my suits, but yeah, I'll go put on my suit real quick. So now, as I have my protective suit on, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll just wait a little bit until it gets a little more on fire, and oh, that's actually hurting a lot. Are you sure I have my protective suit on? Assistant? This is all part of the act, right? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, Ah! Pull me! Pull me out! Whoa! 
wait a second. What's this? I've never been a gambling man before, but this sure looks like fun. There's blood all over me. Blood all over me. Man. That was crazy. They must really hate us for sending this in to let us watch it. This is Manson from Manson Productions. We're calling about the movie you were sent in. No, no, no. We, we like the movie. We like the movie. But we, we need to have some changes made. Oh, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. We will respect your artistic input. Uh, it's not the movie itself, really. Oh, no, no. no. We, we, we do like your direction with it, actually. It's quite nice. Uh, however... Oh, no, no. It's not the counting of the movie. It's the title itself. Uh, you know, Suburban Defense sounds like a more family friendly title, wouldn't you say? Yeah? Would that be good? Yes, yeah, thank you. Thank you, bye. Now that's a movie I want to see. Oh, yes, we all want to see it. It sounds like the best movie that has ever been created on Earth. Indeed. And now, some more constructive criticism on upcoming films. God, I am angry! Mm, but good evening! The new Mel Gibson movie will be cut. Apparently, a producer is of the opinion that Mel is hammering in the message too much. Translation! He thinks it's too blatantly racist. That's crap! Censorship is crap! Moving on, the new Avengers movie with a more LGBT, that means gay. These decisions were made by the director, so we should probably be prepared for some scenes being squished in roughly. Imagine, if you will, a can of sardines on a subway tram in Tokyo during rush hour. That's how jammed in there these scenes will be. Fudge Packer. Next piece of news is about Kim Kardashian. Not only is she going to star in the new scary movie, she will be the leading star. God, she is such a whore. There's also been a Woody Allen movie. I will not show anything because it sucks. I will give it one star though. A star of David to put on his jacket. Also, a one way train ticket to Auschwitz. What will they think of next? An ethnically diverse superhero team? Bleh. I completely agree with everything he just said. Now a word from our sponsor. They are assholes. Indeed. Oh, that's, that's this one. Fuck off. That's, that's one sexy app. Oh. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, you're, you're too fresh for me. Oh, yes. Corpse Grinder, now the app for you want to hook up with a sexy stiffy. Download it today. And now, drunken makeup. Lovely. 
Hello, today we are going to make a makeup tutorial that is going to be very very good for your skin if you want to go out. It is a very good blending technique I have here. So. Let's go to the party! La la! Ah, 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 I fell over! God damn it! Ah. Don't drink and make up, kids. Don't drink and make up. Very dangerous. Did we think this would be able to be shown? No. So that's why we are going to show it. Here we have a German. Out walking, and you know, it is a German due to it says on its shirt, Ich liebe dein Vaterland by Lebensraum clothing. Very fashionable indeed. The moose is majestically walking through the forest. You can see those big antlers, it's the crown, due to they are named and called by legend that they are the king of the forest. As you see, this one is walking through very nicely. And he's coming. The German doesn't see that the moose is coming. And he's, he's sniffing on him. Remarkable. And then, what will this encounter be for the first time? And here we see the miracle of life. Nature as its finest. The two encounters of the species could be the new frontiers of the species. Now, I have been told that if we want to keep monetizing, we need more diversity in our channel. So, here's the mandatory diversity part. Okay, well, I'm listening. The first black superhero. His superpower is that he's a great thief and he can hide well in bushes and assault people from the bushes in the dark. And in that, the second one is Rastaman. He would walk a weed and gets his superpowers of voodoo. Great thanks. And then we have the first one, Wheelchair Woman. She has also superpower to climb mountain with her functioning arms and go off every big hindrance in her life. But her weakness is that she cannot get over doorsteps and bumps. And then we have Mexican man who do a lot of cocaine and turn into a super duper big Mexican Godzilla monster. Um, well, I, I like it. I like it. They are a bit wide though. Uh, but I like it. Let's call Disney right away. We can call it Social Justice League. Do you hate when your menstruation blood is going away? Yeah, that's terrible. Don't worry, we have the solution. Just put your menstruation blood from your men's cup in these cups that we supply to you. And then put the lid on. Like that. And then just place it outside your door. And our state-of-the-art truck will come and pick it up for you. And it all will be recycled into Swedish blood pudding to be served in public school.
Fancy Def Disco. Woohoo! That sounds exciting. And yeah, we need to build a wall. The wood's gonna be great. It's gonna be good. And now, to the main event.